Hey, it's Wendell from Open World Gaming, and today we're going to take a look at how to install mods on Just Cause 3. So you want to drive a monster truck, you want to skip the intro, you want an infinite grappling hook, we can do that with a mod. So the first thing you want to do is enable the drop zone directory to enable modding on Just Cause 3. If you haven't done this already, click the annotation on the screen to go watch that video on how to enable mods in Just Cause 3. And if you've already done that, we're good to go and we can go on to step number two. So the next thing you want to do is open a web browser and go to this website, justcause3mods.com. This is a repository where you're going to find all the mods for Just Cause 3. Now on the top, you want to click on mods and you can scroll through or search for a mod. And once you find one that you like, go ahead and click on it. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to install the mod that skips the intro scene. So on the mod page, if you look at the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you'll see a big blue download button. Go ahead and hit that download button and it'll download a zip file. Go ahead and open up the zip file and inside you'll see a text file and a drop zone folder. And for now, we're just going to leave this window open. Now we're going to go open Steam, and we're looking for the Just Cause 3 directory. So in your Steam library, right click on Just Cause 3, go to the bottom and select Properties. And if you click the Local Files tab, and click Browse Local Files, that'll take you directly to your Just Cause 3 directory. And now all we have to do is drag the drop zone folder into the Just Cause 3 directory. And if it asks you if you want to overwrite, say yes. And that's it. You have just installed a mod on Just Cause 3. And the next time we run the game, we're not going to have to wait for that intro cutscene. Now most of the mods have this drop zone folder. Now for any mod that you download that has a drop zone folder, this is how you're going to install it. Just drag and drop the drop zone folder into the Just Cause 3 directory. Now there are a few mods that do not have a drop zone folder. They just have one file or maybe a couple of files that you've downloaded from the mods page. So in order to install this type of mod, we're going to move those files into the Just Cause 3 save folder. Now to find the Just Cause 3 save folder, you're going to go into your documents and Square Enix, Just Cause 3, saves, and you're looking for this folder with a bunch of random numbers. This is your save folder. Now it's probably a good idea to back up this folder before you make any changes to it. You can just copy and paste it anywhere you like. Just remember where you put the backup. So once we have a backup, in our Just Cause 3 saves and all the random numbers folder, we're just going to drag and drop the mod files into the save folder. And yes, once again, you want to overwrite the files. And that's it. You've just modded Just Cause 3. So what are you doing still watching this video? Go play you some modded Just Cause 3. But do me a favor, come back and tell me what your favorite mod is. Go ahead and leave it in the comments. And if you're looking for some mod recommendations, we've got a whole series of mod showcase videos for Just Cause 3. So come on over to the website, owgpodcast.com, and check those out. Or you can subscribe to the YouTube channel right here. So thanks for watching. For Open World Gaming, I'm Wendell, and we'll see you next time. Bye.